All right, it's time to make your symmetrical design, which means that whatever you put on one side, you are also going to put on the other side. So first, fold your butterfly in half and give it a good crease. Open it back up and it's time to add our designs. Dip your paint, dip your brush in black paint and make your design. Just do one brush stroke and then fold it back in half and press where you painted and let's see what happened. Ah, it went to the other side. So now we have an exactly symmetrical design and we're gonna continue that. So anytime you paint a mark, fold it and crease it and then rub the back and you're gonna see your design goes to the other wing too. We wanna make sure we don't paint the wings all the way black because what would happen? we wouldn't see the orange anymore. And monarch butterflies are known for their orange and black and white wings. So we wanna make sure all the colors show up. So continue to do that until both of your wings are painted. All right, let's add the little white dots with the Q-tips now. So I am going to put the white dots on the black paint because they stand out really well. Do you think that whatever I put on one side, I should also put on the other side? What is that called when things are exactly the same on both sides? It's called symmetry. So I'm gonna make sure that if I put white dots on one side, I make sure that I also put the same dots on the other side. All right, keep going. This will be our second to last step because there's something missing on the top of our monarch butterfly. I wonder if anyone can figure that out. Did anyone guess that it's missing its antennas? Because it is, so you're gonna use your glue stick and put two little dots of glue at the top, and then we're gonna stick our tiny little antennas on the top, because butterflies have antennas. Yay, I cannot wait to see these flying down the hallway.